guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is hope uh in this video i am going to be doing my braids and also telling you guys about the experience of having african hair while in korea yes so we're going to be doing those two things uh first thing i'm going to show you guys the things i'm going to use i'm going to use brazilian wool um i like this because it's very easy to hold like it has a very good grip it's not slippery so it makes my work easy and hair clips to hold my hair i got these from daiso i got these from daiso so in case you ever need them they are in daiso you can easily get them next we have hair bands I got these with extra colors to just try out something new because I always use black, plain black ones. So this time I got colorful ones because <laughs> hairspray, very important. I like spraying my hair. I like moisturizing it as I braid. So I'll use this spray bottle and I'll be using this Blue Magic as my hair oil. I got this hairspray bottle from Shine, so if you need like a um, mist kind of water bottle, uh, these are the kind they have in Daiso, so if this works for you then fine, this is also in Daiso, but you can get these from Shine. I know it's hard to get them in Korea, I, even in Kupang I think it's a bit pricey if it's there, so Shine. I think this is about five dollars. Okay, so water. One of the greatest difficulties of you growing your natural hair while in Korea is it's not easy to get your natural hair necessities. It's not easy for you to get your black hair necessities like combs, braids, um, oils, hair oils like everything it's not easy to find them because well they they have different hair from us so if you want hair supplies like um, hair oils i think you can get hair oils or shampoos from kupang they're just some stuff that you can't get here and i think that is one of the hardest things getting you hair supplies so whenever i get a chance to stock up like when i was coming to korea i didn't i carried almost everything <laughs> that i needed like combs shampoos conditioner all that stuff braids yeah but also um you can find these things from ebay aliexpress at a more affordable fee mm. yeah ebay and aliexpress have almost all these things so you can get them from there i'll also use this olive miracle moisturizing lotion This lotion is very moisturizing. Oh, I did it as well before I start to section my hair. So in Seoul, in Itaewon, when you go to braid your hair, when you go to those ladies that braid hair, they have some of these things in their stores like combs or easy things like combs or hair oils or hair butters. Yes, so you can still get some of these things from those people that braid hair in Itaewon. The Blue Magic I am using is Blue Magic Originals. It has castor oil, shea butter and aloe vera. I'm going to be using coffee brown to braid. I hope it's nice. I've never used coffee brown I think. I've never 
done coffee brown braids before so i hope this will be nice what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take this little thread and try to make a first braid on the hair so that it gives me a foundation because if i just put the whole thing in then it's not really going to work <laughs> but I think I think the color is not bad I will trim everything at once at the end let me show you all how the yarn is so the yarn is like a long thing like this so if I want my hair to be if I want my hair to be this long I'm going to cut like this I'm just I'm going to fold it and cut like this because you're not going to braid with this with just this but you're going to fold it so if you fold it it's going to become like half that length so it's the length you want and then you double it like this so you cut so you cut here that's how it goes I think I'll do Yeah, I'll do this. some extra length for the rubber band and the trimming so I like to give some extra length for that okay we have our first two braids <laughs> done half of my head now I am remaining with this half so let me finish this and then I'll be back so since I wasn't going to burn my ends I added these very tiny bands that I showed you guys at the start uh, so every time I cut my the end of my braids I added these mini bands and they look good many hours later okay so this is my hair i use a total of four rolls four rolls of the brazilian wool or yarn um yeah i really like the color it's really better than i expected so uh, going back to the conversation about african hair in korea um the main issue is you not being able to easily access your hair materials like what you need to take care of your hair so i would personally advise that if you are coming to korea especially for the first time that you stock up you stock up on your hair oils your hair tools uh, your shampoos and conditioners the things that work for you as you try to figure yourself out as you try to settle in and then with them you can you know learn how to do different stuff like you can find out where people braid from where to buy stuff uh there is a shop in seoul actually that sells braids african hair stuff also a good thing is that nowadays there's very many like people braiding hair there are people in different cities that braid hair so if you are new or if you are looking you can ask around 
I am sure you'll find someone that braids hair in your place. And if you can do your own hair, then that's a plus. You don't really have to hustle a lot. But yeah, like for me, there's some styles that I can do myself. So I always seek out someone else for that. But in the most cases, if it's such hair, I'm good. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I think it's not really hard uh, handling your natural hair in Korea. Like when I was coming, I was told to, you know, cut it off or there won't be people that braid. But if you don't want to cut off your hair, you don't cut it off. You can always find a way of, you know, managing it and surviving. And also you need to... I think stay consistent with your hair routine and choose the best products for your hair. Like for me, there were times I used some Korean products that were, I think, not good for my hair. And since it was my first time taking really good care of my hair or trying to take care of my hair, my hair after some time started breaking. I actually don't really know what happened. But yeah, as you saw, I think you saw earlier, my hair is shorter now. Yeah, it used to be longer than that. So find the best products with your find the best products for your hair. Uh, stay consistent with your routine. Yeah, have a hair regimen. <laughs> I think that's what they call it. Have a hair regimen, and yeah, find the best products for your hair and use those, and your hair will flourish. Okay, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, girl, oh, girl, you got me going psycho. Oh, I know, I know, the boy don't have you. Oh, I go, I go, you got me going psycho. Oh,